Ellis Falls, residents are set to vote on whether to build a new jail in their town. But there's a last minute change that could cause some controversy. WPTZ's Renee Wunderlich joins us with the details coming out late this afternoon. Renee. Good evening, George. I spoke with Sheriff Keith Clark today, and over the phone he, he, phone, he confirms that he is no longer looking to turn the Liberty Mill into a detention center. And he says that after looking more closely into what it would take to revamp that vacant building, he says it would just be too costly. And right now, he says there are no formal business plans or any official budget for this detention center proposal. The sheriff says he is still looking into two or three other areas, all vacant lots in the Rockingham and Western Westminster areas, to build a center from scratch. I asked him, what about if the mill were to be torn down, something that the sheriff and other town officials say could be a possibility because of its dilapidated state? And the sheriff said, quote, there's always a possibility that that location, meaning the Liberty Mill, may be torn down and that we would build on it. But at this point, I'm not pursuing it. The town clerk says the question regarding the detention center is still on the ballot for tomorrow. That question reads, should voters in Rockingham allow placement of a detention center within Bellows Falls? And of course, that vote is still non-binding. That means the polls, they're, they're going to be used to see what the town thinks of the project, not whether or not to build. So while the mill is no longer up for grabs, the sheriff's office still could submit plans to the town zoning board for a detention center in and around Bellows Falls. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlake, WPTZ News Channel 5.